Welcome to the uh, stockmarketfunding.com and we're here to update you as they say what was the mechanism or the mechanical thing that started this move in the indexes. Hey, rather it was this Procter & Gamble right here and that's what's on the chart an erroneous print down here. Well there's a lot between there and there and basically that scared a lot of people or that triggered some emotions is what it does and now they're investigating as to what that is I can tell you the old-fashioned way um, rather that this was an excuse uh, look at this we went down a thousand points today but this is Procter & Gamble chart that wick is at forty dollars that's a 20 odd some odd dollar drop from here to there and on this daily chart I don't even think that the last time it was at forty dollars you have to go back over to 2003 and as far as I'm concerned that's a support level and it hit it right to the penny and so whatever this was or whatever the excuses are on the Procter & Gamble and what the exchanges are talking about that's an event and that means if that wick was really true it would have taken all the stock markets out all the limit orders to buy as well and after they're all out or people sell all the way down with it then you get these big bounces and that's what happened on the Dow today um, I'm going to be happy to uh, tell you that the Procter and Gamble deal if you take a look at the uh, the wick on the Dow here um, program trading came in and whatnot but here you go um, and look at that long wick down here on the Dow almost what I can give you the exact numbers if you'd like the numbers are on the Dow for that swing low is 9869.62 and basically came down through the 50-day moving average came down through the 100-day moving average undercut this uh, simple moving average that's what that green line is okay and that's that right up there and they're color coded and so all the stop market orders were triggered down right along with Procter and Gamble when Procter and Gamble when that print happened here's what happened on the Dow right here there's the low and what everyone did was they sold right through all the limit orders all the stop market orders and basically it put a run on the Dow thousand points all right and basically when you take a look at the Dow right here DJI and you take a look at the Procter & Gamble deal that I showed on the other chart both are the same okay and basically rather Procter & Gamble started the move first and then triggered this and what happened was when it blew out they took the stop market order out it's a form of uh, capitulation take out all the orders in here they did that they use this one but this is the Dow still that's this one right here that was down a thousand points so basically capitulation is capitulation and you look at the two together very carefully is that um, there's a lot of resemblances there they came down and people had to buy to cover short so Procter and Gamble versus the Dow and I showed both charts okay and whatnot I can show the uh, weekly chart here is a weekly chart but this is today's wick right here and this is Procter and Gamble and basically I'll get it in here and this is the Dow see here let's move this logo out of the way for you um, you can see that one there but Procter & Gamble starts it and here's the Dow sell-off anyway we called a big problem in the market a couple of weeks ago 
and we provided people the opportunity to be able to examine those uh, trading setups that we were trying to warn you with and um, if you got caught in the capitulation um, go back as far as three weeks take a look at the history of the Dow S&P uh, NASDAQ 100 um, some of the things some of the trainings that we did all right Procter and Gamble and the Dow and capitulation thank you for visiting stockmarketfunding.com we have a school that addresses many things Join us for five days and find out.